Are you broke but have really expensive taste? Then fear no more. I'm here to give you a tutorial on how to make this minimalist inspired art for your home. It's gonna be less than 20 bucks and it's gonna look fire and your pockets are gonna thank you and your friends are gonna be envious and it's just gonna be a vibe, you know what I mean? It's just gonna be a vibe. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need is a couple of canvases. You can pick however many you want, whatever size, whatever floats your boat. We're also gonna need some brushes, doesn't matter the size either. And you're going to need some black paint, whatever brand works, and some water, and also a dye Dr. Pepper because we're skinny over here, okay? I have to prove that to you. All right, so as you can clearly see, my canvas already has some crazy ass paint on it, but fear not, okay? Since we're gonna be painting in black, I'm gonna go over the already painted area, so don't get discouraged if you do have canvases around and they already have like artwork on them. Just paint over it. It's fine, girl. So here's where you're gonna start mapping out the shapes that you want. I was using a reference for this, so I already knew exactly what I wanted to draw. I would highly suggest you like scrolling through Etsy or Pinterest and searching up like minimal art. That way you can get to see different shapes and styles that you may like. Okay, so here is where I started filling in the shape, like I try to fill the void in my heart. Since you already have the outline, you don't necessarily have to be super careful with it. As you can see, I wasn't. Um, but yeah, just put some umph in it, con ganas, you know what I mean? Like, fill it in like you want it. Don't forget to paint the sides of the board, because then it's just gonna look janky and like you, you did make it at home. So yeah, we're trying to go for the professional look. So don't be lazy, don't, don't be lazy. So once you're done with one of the shapes, you can start rotating the canvas to draw out more shapes that you want. I'm only gonna do one more and it's gonna be on the corner like you see here. And that's gonna be it for this particular canvas. And then I'll show you the end result. Ta-da, isn't it gorgeous? It kind of looks like a cow. I mean, you can go crazy with these shapes, okay? You can draw a heart, you can draw stars, whatever your little heart pleases. I just decided to go with a cow because I love hamburgers. So there's that. All right, I know what you're thinking. Damn, she only has crusty, dusty canvases laying around. Don't worry, This, these are the last ones that I have. I only had two that already had prior fake artwork on them. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I mentioned before, this is the beauty of painting with black paint. You can just paint right on over it and nobody will be able to tell. On this canvas, I decided to just go with rectangulars. Rectangulars? <laughs> I decided to just go with rectangles. Um, my vision for this was having two canvases that were a little bit more chunky and busy and then having two that were a little less busy and more clean so you'll see in the next two that they start getting a little bit more minimal the cool thing about this is you totally have free reign to do whatever it is that you want um i ended up going back to this particular canvas and started making some of the rectangles rectang why do i keep wanting to say rectangulars rectangles wider and then on one of the rectangles i ended up smudging the edges so it looked cool all right so i know you saw the paint on the table don't you worry don't you worry i was able to get it off with some like windex so here what you see me doing is washing the brushes a little bit I want to dilute the black that's already on the brush because I want it to end up being three different tones of black and since I don't have any white, this is the only way to go about it. So this is what you see me doing here. Clearly Stormy got jealous because she wasn't the center of attention so she decided to join us. But for this design, I wanted to do three different circles, one in like a super light gray color, then the medium one, then the last circle would end up being super dark. So yeah, this is my little design, enjoy! For the first circle, which ends up being the lightest one, again, since I didn't have any white, I really had to dilute the paint. And what I noticed was happening was, I kept getting like blobs of like water on the canvas. So I just grabbed a quick paper towel and pressed it onto the circle. 
and I was able to get the light gray color and remove those blobs. So pro tip, that's why we went to college. Well, looky here, the second heifer decided to join the painting party. <laughs> And for the last blob, it was just regular straight up black paint. I didn't dilute it or use the paper towel technique because I wanted that one to be the darkest so it could cause a gradient effect. A fade? <laughs> effect. I can't talk. I am so sorry, y'all. <laughs> All right, my loves. And for the last one, we're going to be doing little polka dots. I lost my accent, sorry. We're going to do little polka dots all over the canvas, but kind of leave, I want to say, half an inch around the border. Um, so it looks like a frame within a frame, if that makes sense. But yeah, um, I'm following the same technique where I want it to be light, medium, and dark. So I did do a little bit of diluting to the paintbrush to get the different shades. So yeah, just keep doing that all throughout the board and then you'll have the finished product. Anywho, my loves, I hope you guys enjoyed this little art tutorial, especially if you're on a budget and you're trying to be bougie and you're trying to have your apartment looking nice. This is a great way to go about it. There's tons more other designs on Etsy that I'm sure you can find, and also Pinterest. And you can make big ass ones, you can make small ass ones, whatever kind of ass you like, you can make one of those. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, and I will catch you guys next week. Peace out. Bye. Have a great remainder of whatever day it is that you're watching this. And don't forget to leave me a comment to subscribe to this damn channel because I'm trying to blow up, okay? And also, don't forget to like the video. Okay, bye!